Hey y'all, welcome to the kitchen at the House of Yum. My name is Serene and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade enchilada sauce because the secret to making the best enchiladas is the enchilada sauce. So the homemade enchilada sauce we're gonna to make today is a Tex-Mex version. And the reason that it's different is because we're going to use chili as the base for our sauce. And typically you would find enchilada sauces that have a tomato base, or a lot of tomato sauce in them. Ours is gonna be mostly chili. So in Texas, you would actually hear it referred to as a chili gravy. And that's what we're making today. So brief rundown of the ingredients and then we'll get started. We're gonna use some salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, ground cumin, oregano, flour, some butter, that's not sitting out, um, tomato paste and a no or low sodium beef broth. You can also use a chicken broth if you would prefer, but keep it low sodium so that we don't end up with too much salt in our sauce. The step is the butter we're going to add. The butter is melted. Then we're going to sprinkle in our all-purpose flour. And stir it together. We're gonna end up with a thick paste and we want the flour to cook for just a few minutes so that it's no longer raw. Have our salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, oregano, and a healthy dose of our chili powder. And then continue to stir it up. It's nice and thick. After about two to three minutes, the flour is cooked and we can add in our broth. I'm going to pour in our beef broth. And we'll whisk it together. And I am going to add in just a small amount of tomato paste. About one tablespoon. Add it in. And we'll whisk that in there. And you can see the sauce is already starting to thicken up. And that's perfect. So you can see the consistency. And it's thick enough to coat the spoon, which is exactly what we want on our tortillas for our enchiladas. And that was seriously it. That's how you make a homemade enchilada sauce. It's pretty easy, right? Okay, now the challenging part. And there you have it, homemade enchilada sauce. So at this point, you can let it cool, put a lid on, store it in the refrigerator, it'll last about five days, or you could just go make some enchiladas. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss a recipe, and also check out these other recipes I have for you. I think you'll like this one, and I think I see one down there too. Bye, y'all.